should be online now. Yep. Close that, close. Oh no. Hold up, guys. Not sure to anybody. Ah, shoot. Alright, I won't be able to do that. Oh, wait. Copy. Oh. I think I just did something. Yep, I just did something. Hold up. Okay. Hello. Welcome. Hold up. I don't even know if I'm even live. This is sad. <laughs> I'm not even sure if you guys can even hear me. Can y'all hear me? Can, can y'all hear me? Can, can yeah, alright. You guys can hear me. Alright, we're playing Red Dead again. We're gonna play it until we finish the game. Which is gonna be pretty sad, because, you know. Yeah, alright. Uh, let's start. Um, wait, didn't... It's normal, right? Did not save my progress? Should've. Oh my god, if it didn't save my progress, I'm gonna be so angry. I don't get why. Oh god, god, god. This is the first time I ever played this type of game, so I'm not really sure. Oh no, I'm back. That's just a little scary. Welcome to my shop. Dear sir, hello. I hope you see something you need. Mm, nice so doing business with you. Um, these are expensive. That's good. Jesus. Them expensive. Oh, what's the games W wants to find? Your last friend finding. Now, I hate the way how slow the horse moves, but whatever. Alright. Oh, I am so sorry, miss. Is my horse's health? Could I use this for the horse? I got basic campfire. Go. This game is so weird. Oh my god, just imagine if they remastered it. Do you know how beautiful that would be, too? Remaster it, make it look like Red Dead 2. I feel like a whole bunch of people would buy it more now, too. It's so expensive to this game. I bought it for like $34. It's only on sale for 30% off. Well, hell. 
Howdy. Hi Excuse there. Me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd well, be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? No. Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but... We lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east, so... Man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. <laughs> Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper top. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you mm -hmm. go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water. Build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> all right then. This is the house west of the year to learn. Changes run through the world have simple tasks for you to carry these tasks. Be started and continue anytime. Check the journal, pause when you finish. Oh, here we go, journal. Uh, you meet a man named Meg Stern uh, Camp Medillo or two Medillo. He's looking for a drain of water in this area, but an old man who lives in the house one room. Great. To travel to northern Amadillo to find a way to the land being Alright. So I guess this is the road towards Amadillo. Uh, when activated the next part, exchanges mission will be marked on the map. It's already visited that location marked will be purple. So will it be marked or not? Gotta look for a um, ranch. Will be this? No, that wouldn't be good. I doubt he'll have a ranch in the. Oh, could it be that one over there? Might be. Let's go. That's what I wanted. Oh. Collected uh, first rank of survival's challenge. Oh. So they would be marked. Alright, so how do I mark it? Set way poem. Oh Let's go. Yeah, okay. Oh, I thought they were gonna be showing up like um on Reddit.
Alright. That's so cool. And so interesting too. Oh my god, I was doing my, uh, this morning, before stream, I had to wash my clothes, right? So I put it in, put the laundry, my nail broke off. Like, not my whole nail, just the nail I've been growing out. It completely broke off. So now I have a finger that do not have a nail, basically, like a long nail. friend I didn't know anyone lived out here whoa wall there now you can't rob the place now can you now get friendly old bastard ain't you I don't need me no friends friend we all need friends old timer we die alone but we live among men you know I was interested in moving out this way with my family would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Mm. How much money do I got? I don't have enough. Um, ooh, hold up. I'll be back for you. I'm not gonna force it because I don't want him to um, get mad. We we'll call the cops. The law. Is that church? Hello. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me 
of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. All right. <laughs> so you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes. Please, sir. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Thank you. Wait, what she mean by didn't she say a funeral? See, 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 see. Oh, no, a ceremony. Not a, fu not a funeral. Alright. So he's gotta be at the saloon. Let's go do that. I'm trying to make up as much money as I can so I can um, buy that land. Because I don't want to force it off that thing. Saloon again. Is that so? That's a general store over here. What the heck? Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. Hmm. You ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know. Where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Then let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left. The dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stage coach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now you'll need more than talk with that bitch. Rude. You best go Excuse me, miss? Er, Rose? That useless, whoremongering bastard sent you get lost! Miss, please. If only. You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. Sign an oath, miss. For better or worse. The way I see it, you should give him one last chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke. Roll hey. the marshal. The marshal knows me, though. Can't hug Tiger. Come on. Just... How do 
Wait. Can I just push her? Let you just push in here. Well, if it gets the job done, then I guess. I'm literally pushing her. We're crying out loud. Look where you're going. Came by, robbing and killing. That ain't right. For some reason they left me alone. You were raised sour milk. Court me that time already? I'm sorry, bro. I've got it. Sweet Lord above. Bye, friend. Bye now. Dude, can you? Oh my goodness! I beg your pardon, Mister. She's right here. That's it. Come on. Well, a dance all over your behind. Hello there. You hear Jeff Murphy? You can make good money for both me and you. Why to are you still here, madam? Yeah. Right. Hey, Hello. Maybe later. Hello there. Howdy, Why sir. don't you and me spend a little time together? Hey, mister. Hey, partner. I'm saying You get my wife. The best of health to you, my dear. Do you want to make a move? She's right there. She's right there. I'm done. I wish the stamina didn't go down so fast on the horse. Come on! Barely gave you a haircut? Did he really just say that? Church. Bird.
Got it. I took his feathers. I shot an owl. Go. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck, God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise <laughs> be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Oh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Come on, fat boy. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? The closest doctor is in Armadillo. What is your name, friend? John Morse. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me! How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. Get back! Uh, I'm done for! For the love of God, stick to your road! Don't stop! I'm begging you! Oh my God! Let's keep moving! Oh my god, I'm not at the stage coat. This is it! My time has come! Good God, four of them! Die? He died. How do you expect me to ride a skate coach that don't want to move? To Armadillo! Godspeed! What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlum! The scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die! I can see that. Once again, I'm the victim of my own success. They seem to be a man in a well cut suit if this happens. My God, they come back and finish me off. You're killing! Please drive carefully. Every bump is like getting struck by lightning. Got them on it, old man. It'll be fine. Just sit and save some of your breath for breathing. Now, get me to a doctor! I wouldn't put that gun away, 
just yet, sir! You'll be fine. Oh god. I'm here again! They're fleeing! He must be too close to town, Burnham! Yeah! I embrace you! For Christ's sakes, man, you're gonna be fine! Thank We're you nearly there! Into your arms. We're here! Stay with me. Oh, Jesus, the devil, that was insane. Armadillo, we made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for. Let's get you fixed up first. All right. We'll decide what you're my man for. <laughs> God. Oh my God! I just cracked my back. Watch out! Does that make you feel tough, does it? Well, you sure ain't no gentleman, are you? Sure, I'll go back to him, but trust me, same as God, I'll kill him when he's asleep. That's your business, madam, and I wish you luck with it. Too yellow to come and get me himself, Dizzy. I'll poison that little maggot. What did he do? What didn't he do? He's a fiddler and can't stop fiddling. Even see you look at a whore again. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. Really? What to him? Well, what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at odd fella's rest. Yeah. That's where he'd be, I guess. Hey, mister. Come on. Easy now. Why are you looking up like that? Did you see the way he was looking up? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Alright. So, what's this one? What's this one? What in Western? This one's making. Let's go over here. Saying hello to the doggy. Oh. How much money do I have now? I only have a hundred and fifty five.
Oh, he dead. Do I tell his fiance? This is I guess not. What's over here? Jenny's feet. I love the way he stops. From above. <coughs> hello, hello there. Howdy, miss. Uh, what are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. <sighs> Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. It's, what is that? Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. I don't think so, miss. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith? I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. Are you full right, of things miss? that'll kill you, <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well. Take care then. She gonna die. <coughs> Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. <laughs> I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Lord, praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> What's wrong with her? Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. Uh, I'm in heaven. Does it have it has antlers on it? Tough one, ain't you? It had antlers on it. What the heck? Go. It had antlers. Let's go back to Miss Bonnie. Let's go. Come on. Come on.
Oh my god, I did again. I'm so sorry. <sighs> what is this mission about? Alright. Four bucks. Oh my God. Right. Come on. I feel like I'm gonna take my Nice, nice. I don't think I need the um stage code. It is Bonnie's house though. Um, oh my gosh, it's all the way over there. Oh, not as well. Let's go! That's the way it how the map on Red Dead 1 is so much detailed than Red Dead 2. Then you think it would be less detailed since you know it's an older game. Let's go. Women in Kettle. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. <laughs> do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me yeah. Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Oh. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. Mm -hmm. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. 
And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. <laughs> People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. Mm -hmm. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. Oh. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. Oh. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. Or tried to leave. Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Mm -hmm. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. Good to see you, Miss McFarland. Come on. Come on. Get. Let's 
Teaching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Wow. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Look at them cows. Right, got that one. Let's go. Okay. This looks like the one. John, run! I won. Cheated to really think about it. Wait, where the heck is this other dude? Where's um? Where's um? Um um um. What the heck? Um, Marsh. Hold up. Get that. Let's go back to Bonnie. Horse tame passion. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How oh. are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Hi, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. 30 years? Came here from the east. I'm sorry. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough oh. men. And we had outlaws. And we had drought. And we had smallpox. Terrible winters. Cholera. A very more of my children and I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, no sir. Run. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. 
I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. Mm-hmm. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always gonna be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around, spying, and secret missions. All right. Preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, <laughs> we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is <laughs> Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're going to be taming horses. You're going to need this, Mr. Marston. Finally. I finally got right. a lasso. Now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. Wow. Jesus, look at horsey's tail. sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mm. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know we're ride? only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The <laughs> more you have, the more you want. There's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. God, I love the music that they have. Come down, horsey. Come on. Come on. Nearly got you. Calm down now. Oh, shit. Oh, there you go. I want. 
for me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. If you have enough, it's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor, but it's straight, and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, though. <laughs> Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. Come on, boys. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural at busting Broncos? That was Thank fun. you. I think you could be a fine rancher one day. If you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. We did it. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Aye. No rest for the wicked. Let's see if we can track down that other herd of horses. Never did tell me why you were never married. Besides Tomorrow, from the snobbery, that is. Rain. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're <laughs> talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amen. <laughs> God, I love Bonnie. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. Looks like the ranch hands up ahead. Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there. many people around us. Let's go! Stay together! 
together, you dumb animals. Move it. Get a move on. Let's go. Keep it moving. Move on. Move on. Come on. Move. Come on. Move it up. There you go. Finally got them. Come on. Where's Bonnie? Show me where Bonnie was. Come on.
There you go. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Oh! So this is my horse now, I guess? This horse. This one seems to have a lot more stamina. Take off my saddle to put it on my horse. That's maybe how's Bounty Five Fingers Gunsmith. Mm, that's a train. The spawner stake. Stronger than normal. Outfits. Goes to Twin Rock Hideout. Brightness. G. 
cheats. Shut your mouth, lost. Uh, open up your head, hey. Hey, you won't pass by. Okay, so what do I do with the stallion then? Say. to do the stallion. This is going to be useless. I got something unlocked apparently. Oh. There's so many horses. Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. <laughs> Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Oh, my God. The whole thing got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Fine. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hi. Ooh, he drinking on the job. Hey, wait up. All right, let's go. Stay together. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I were you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. 
I oh, can't yeah. understand the goddamn word he said. Hey, Marshal, you see those vultures? I see them. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people they went and dropped their gun. Let's go. Come on, John, run. Run, John, run. We gotta find these people. Nobody's oh, they were drinking. Where's my horse? What you doing all the way over there? Oh my god. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> is he naked? This has gone far enough. Right now. 
making you a pretty little thing. I'm gonna give you a clip. There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Dip. Oh no! the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. I can't take much oh, more of this. There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Come on. Marshall, this might be our chance. 
What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marston? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family part. Eyes up! You see that? Shoot! You just dang walk it. away now, John. No! I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Nuh-uh! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Oh, <laughs> shit. Marston, gentlemen, I'm afraid you're dead. Hey, look what I got here. There's something that you're still breathing. Come here, boy. Come on, Bessie. Give. Oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. I see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Hate you, Norman. Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Mm -mm -mm. We got 200 books. Come on. Hold up. Hey! I did it.
I got me some pain. To Armadillo, I think that might be. Oh, I don't know what that W mean. Williamson? There you go. You shall not give false. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens. Of Nigel? East London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then, they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just two dollars an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. I do a bulk discount rate of 195 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Mm -hmm. Give it up, old man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Why are you oh, laughing John, like that? Let us make haste for Ridgewood Farm. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. Mm. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed several times. Just full of wind as a horse with the collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands mm -hmm. of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Mm -hmm. For the love of God, try to stay on the road. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. It's the cross I bear as a pioneer in the fields of commerce and medical research. Uh -huh. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio, make. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. Uh -huh. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm look, really starting to regret I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Bridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my time. 
after extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the fleeing public. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. <laughs> so it is all a sham. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Voyage camera posters knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future. You can best be a man of your word. Yup. I don't like this dude, he's kinda annoying. He's on talking and talking and talking. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. Why is he talking like I'll that? I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago? <gasps> lumbago? Uh, Uncle uh, has lumbago. Pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> well, can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who can prove the qualities of it by taking a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent topic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science. And All today, right. science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can police me, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready to shoot that hat. Right? Come on. Go home! Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the power of the elixir! Looked out of the sky! Hey! Hey! 
You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They don't work like that around here. You're the one who told me to do it. Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Look at him. The tonic is coursing through his veins. Come on. With you, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, let's make this quick. There it is, skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get him. this and now. Watch out, he's got a gun. Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Oh, hey, a marvelous shot, dear boy. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. Kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes and head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Seth? He can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's a most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Jesus, this man is crazy. Alright, let's go to Chapel Kids. Oh my god. I almost killed my horsey. Chola or Choja? I think it's Choja. Because double O in Spanish that makes a Y sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Oh! I gotta tell you guys um, after we finish this, um, like, whole series of the stream. I got modded Star Valley, so that gonna be fun. Yeah. Let's go. I'm so sorry, horsey. Yeah. Oh shoot. What the heck? Alright. Yeah. Man, what are we gonna when when are we going to get Bill? There's the church.
guys. I got I got old used to rush in my backpack, okay? I'm putting my headphones on backwards. Alright. Excuse me, are you Excuse Seth? Me. Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. West Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. He creepy looking. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around, 
Look for maps half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling Ooh. out, my mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Moore. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Mm-hmm. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. Don't choke me halfway there. He 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 he. I I I. I don't know how John can over here. be so okay. Yeah. All right, guess we're going with this crazy old man. I swear, God, John has too much faith in these people. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care, none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talked to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fella. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rot. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. After this, I'm probably gonna play Star Rally a bit, then I'll play Undead Nightmares. Come on! What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. Faster! Well, you're the one who ain't going that fast. I could go faster than you, see? What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. <laughs> Used to be about the money, but now... I don't know who I am no more. Fly, fly! All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. 
There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Alright, what are we gonna do? away from the shack and out of sight somewhere out past that hill this is one god awful assignment stay away from them animals Good <laughs> A bounty of 20 bucks. That was fast. We're just stealing a horse? Don't you think that's a little too much? Let's go! Job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Right. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! <laughs> Get away from me! Nope. Run, John! Are you? Need to be closer. Don't trust Seth! He's sick in the mind! What's this got to do with you? Just leave me alone! This ain't none of your business! Why are you doing this? Just name your price. <laughs> you just wait till I get loose, mister. We gotta get out of here. 
We'll split it between us, just me and you. Yeah. You son of a bitch, let me go. God, I hate the rain. Who do you think you are, mister? Whoa there. Got him for you, Seth. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisty little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah, then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never cut into a live one before. Uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It, it's an odd fellow's rest. Uh, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. Kill him. I'm sorry. I think you got pissed yourself, Moses. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! All right. Ah. Best we deal with this now, mister. Wait, where's my horse? Over there. Oh my god, my horse is run towards me. Seth, just help me when I come ask. No problem, mister. Oh, Jesus. My back hurts. Um, I'm going to end stream for now. Maybe. Hold on, let me go to Bonnie's. I can take you all over. I need you. to Bonnie to save my progress, then I'm going to leave. Rio Bravo. Mexico? No. Oh my god. I'm alive. the 
Let's go back to the road. Gameplay is just me riding two places. I realize John don't got stamina. So we could run forever. Alright, we'll change outfits. looked horrible. Uh, let's see this way. Alright. Thank you for coming. I might do a stream later on. But who knows. Um, bye bye.